Hey everyone, Taco here and I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for quite a long time. More specifically, this has something to do with Nikon cameras and their, let's see here, time-lapse video feature. Now, this uh, is the same whether you have the Nikon Z8, Z9, and even the newly released Z6 III. So, let's get to the details. Do you like taking time lapses as much as I do? Now I love time lapses because it allows you to compress a long period of time into such a short sliver of time, perhaps in uh, a few seconds or so. Now for Nikon cameras, I did want to clarify one thing. We do have two features to create time lapse videos, and that is the interval timer shooting functionality and the time-lapse video feature. Now I'm not talking about the interval timer shooting because that actually allows you to take uh, raw files at different intervals for a specific amount of time. That is completely fine. I'm talking more towards the time-lapse video feature which actually has puzzled me for quite a long time. So let's get into the menus here, shall we? Alright, so once we're in the photo shooting menu, we select the time-lapse video. And now we have your traditional options here of what interval you want to shoot your time-lapse in, how long you want to shoot your video for, and your typical options of exposure smoothing, choosing the image area, whether it's FX or DX, video file type, frame size, frame rate, and interval priority or focus before each shot on or off. Now, this is the function where I've been quite puzzled with for quite a long time. And this is the video file type. We are limited to two different file types, the H.265 8-bit MOV file and the H.264 8-bit MP4 file. Now, I've often wondered why are we limited to these two limiting video file formats when we have such a great camera like the Z9, Z8, or the Z6 III for that matter. Why can't we have something that is N-Log capable or even just a 10-bit MOV file so that we can perhaps tweak the uh, settings a little bit afterwards or maybe even uh, color grade our um, time-lapse after the fact. We are limited to the 8-bit MOV file which Yes, you can tweak things a little bit, and I have done that before inside DaVinci Resolve, but we are limited to the amount of flexibility in terms of color grading, pushing and pulling certain settings, and therefore I do wish that uh, sometimes we have that capability of creating a final file format that is much more capable of editing in post, that is. Now you're probably thinking, well, they limited this functionality because like I mentioned before, we had the time lapse or the interval timer feature, which allows us to create full resolution time lapses using our raw files. And yes, that is true. We have full capabilities that way. But then before we even actually get to the time lapses, we have to create that time lapse. And that means uh, sending all our hundreds and hundreds, perhaps thousands of files inside a separate third party program, then importing them back into Lightroom, doing our editing and then getting it back into another program to actually um, combine those uh, JPEG file formats into one final time lapse. Yes, it is a number of number of steps, and uh, with that we get the added flexibility of being able to change the look of each of our files. So I do appreciate that respect. But there are certain times when, whether it's just that or lack of time, or not enough time to actually go ahead and process those images after the fact that I do want to create a time-lapse inside the time-lapse video mode that allows me to do a little bit more fine tweaking in post-processing. And that's all I asked for and that's why I've been up to this point a little bit perplexed because I'm pretty sure that these cameras are capable of putting out uh, at least a 10-bit uh, MOV file for that matter so that we have a little bit more leeway in terms of post-processing. So does that resonate with you too, or am I the only one that's thinking in this line of uh, area? 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you even use a time-lapse video mode or are you specifically using the interval shutter shooting mode? Let me know what you think in the comments and perhaps we can start a discussion as to even why I'm thinking this way and whether I'm overthinking this to begin with. So I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.